So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a basketball team logo using Placeit. The first thing we want to do is go to Placeit.net and on the top left hand side of the menu bar, under design templates, we want to click on sports logo maker. We have some different options we can use. We could use an aggressive animals uh, logo or a human characters logo or even a cartoonish animals logo. But for this video, I want to use the basketball logo maker, which is right here. I'll just click on that. And on the left hand side we have all our different text options uh, so the first thing we can do is change the text here so right now if I change this instead of Baltimore it's gonna say whatever I type into this so let's do that right now I'm gonna change it to Toronto now I don't have to have that line of text I can get rid of it by clicking this little check box here so once I do that it's gonna get rid of it and it's gonna reposition everything so it's nice and organized I'm gonna put it back Below each one of these text boxes, we have a little button that allows us to change the font of that line. So I just click on it. I can get all these different options and select a different one. Now notice as I make the changes here, the design gets updated almost immediately. So we can just continue to play with this until we get the design that we like. And that's one thing that's really cool about using Placeit to make our logos. So next we can change the color of each line of text by clicking on this little box here. So right now it's an orangey color. I can change it to something like white. And that's pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna change the name of the team. They're not the Eagles, they're gonna be the Sharks. There we go. All right, so next I'm gonna change the, the font of the Sharks part. I don't quite like that. Let's see here. Let me try something like this and we'll see what that looks like. So that looks pretty good. All right, and uh, the last thing we can do to the text is change uh, the effect that it has. So right now it's, this is the standard or the default uh, shape of the text. But if we click here, we can also bend it or squish it. So now it's kind of like pu pulled upwards or the sides are pushed downwards, however you want to look at it. We could just play with that to see if we find one that we like better. I think I'm going to leave the default. I'm going to leave it on no effect. That looks pretty good. Now on the right hand side, we have all our different color options and the actual logo design options. So we start out with the accent color, which in this case is an orange color. And it is the color of the basketball, the beak, and, and the, uh, the shading under the, the name of the team. We can change that. We can also change the background color. Right now it's just black. The main color, which is the color of the, the main part of the logo and the, the mascot that we have here. And in this case, it's an eagle because we are making one for the sharks, let's go ahead and find one that fits better. So on the right hand side, we have all our different uh, mascots that we could use. I think I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use this one here. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go back up here to main color and I'm gonna change it. Let's see here, let's just tweak it a little bit. Okay, just a different, different shade of blue. If I don't like that, I can go to more and I can be more precise. Maybe I want just a slightly darker type of blue. All right, that looks pretty good. And once we're done, we simply click on download. Now, before we do that, I do want to mention one thing. If you plan on using your logo for printing it on a jersey or a t-shirt or a banner or anything like that, and you do have a background color here, you're probably going to have to end up removing this background color. So you know, even if it's white, you're probably gonna have to get rid of it before you print it out on anything, unless the jersey's white or the shirt's white. Otherwise, you're gonna have this big white uh, box around your logo. So what can you do? You click on background, and instead of choosing any of these colors, you just click on this little box here that's checkered. And what that's gonna do is it's going to remove any background color, and you're just gonna have a transparent background. So what that means is it's already been cut out for you. You can take this logo once you download it, you can put it on any a uh, jersey, t-shirt, or a banner, and it's gonna be already pre-cut, it's gonna look really professional. And you're not gonna have to do any extra work to make it look good. So just a tip to keep in mind. So once you're finally done, you click on download, and you see the dimensions that the design is gonna be downloaded in, 4,000 by 4,000 pixels, which is excellent for printing on textiles, on t-shirts, or jerseys, or anything really. And then you simply click on purchase. And that's how easy it is to make a basketball logo with Placeit.